Electric hydrofoils or e-foils are taking over the world, and today we are traveling to the sunny Dubai to test the new Volt 4 version of a popular e-foil called Manta Foils. Let's go! What's up, champions? Welcome back to Jet Surfing Nation, your place where we test and review different jet boards and e-foils. Today I traveled in this beautiful sunny Dubai to check out the new Manta Foil. Welcome, Renault. Thank you. Welcome, Mike. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to yes. finally see you in person. A year ago, we did a full interview of your old models. Correct. But I was really lucky that a few weeks ago, you launched your new Vault 4, right? Vault 4, yes, just at the boat show last week, actually. So in this video, we are going to cover all the cool features of this new amazing product. Are you ready? Let's go. So first things first, as usual, let's start with the parameters, the basics, the weight, the riding time, the models you're going to offer. Tell yep. us everything. So we have uh, three boards, 100 liter, 75 liter and 50 liter to uh, gather, uh, let's say, all the public from the beginners, intermediate riders and expert riders. Uh, we have one battery at the moment, we'll get another one later on. The, our battery is 50 ampere hour, this is biggest size in the market. Um, and we can ride up to three hours for a kid, about two hours for an adult. Hmm, very exciting. One of the unusual features of your product is a stabilizer. Tell us a little bit more why you decided to go with this kind of stabilizer attached to the prop guard instead of your usual like extra wing. Sure, so there was different reasons for that. Uh, one of the first reasons was, you know, when you fall on a foil, the first thing you hit is the wings mm -hmm. before the propeller. There are so many tips already on the, uh, on the main wing, on the stabilizer. One of the idea was at least to reduce one of them and to have a rounded tip. So the idea of that stabilizer is makes one tip that you can hit less. So it reduces the risk of injury. That's the first thing. The second thing is, in our vision, and I, we can see that also with the trend of the jet, people want to be safe. You know, there are certain brands that goes for open propeller for obvious reasons of, uh, let's say, improving their efficiency of their battery, but we have a big battery, so we don't really need that. And therefore, we uh, take the bet or the, the, the choice, let's say, that we wanted the customer not to be able to remove that prop guard uh, for the safety reasons and also the, the, the fact that the wing is attached to it prevents that. Uh, we do offer a pro uh, folding propeller but the foil is not really dedicated for surfing. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a foil for riding uh, mainly and of course yeah we have customers sometimes like myself when there is wave in the, it's very rare but it happens uh, we go surfing but it's not the best surfing foil it's not designed for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very good. You addressed the question from people who saw your folding propeller with this prop guard. They were saying it creates extra drag. So yeah, actually the prop guard is not so draggy because it's in the way of the of the flow. Mm -hmm. So you consider it as a bigger uh, actually uh, stabilizer because mm -hmm. the whole prop guard stabilizes anyway. It's part of the of the design. But yes. Uh, in any case, an e-foil is an e-foil, it's not a surfing foil. Mm -hmm. And you are the best example, I think, for that, because you don't surf actually with your e-foil. Yeah. <laughs> you surf with other devices. So uh, we are also on that, on that uh, mindset. When we want to do something, we do it dedicated and uh, going into the deepest of that dedication, let's say. So if tomorrow we do a foil for surfing, it's going to be a proper foil for surfing. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. This year is basically a year of jet e-foils and of course you couldn't miss this new trend. Exactly. This year you're offering your new jet e-foil. Tell us a little bit more yes. comparing jet and efficiency of standard one with the so, new battery. Yeah, as you said, uh, there is a growing demand since last year for jets. Uh, we were already working on it last year actually, uh, but it took a bit of time to, to come out with something that was uh, good enough for us. So this year at the, with the new range we launched the jet engine. The jet engine also keeps our stabilizer designs. Uh, uh, the, the main advantage of our uh, jet is very stable. You will notice it when you ride it. It's extremely stable, uh, so it's really good for beginners. So yeah, the, if you compare the jet uh, with the propeller, probably the main difference is uh, stability of the jet is higher, but the power is less. Uh, also the efficiency is less. Uh, and this is a true for any jet in the market, I would say. Yeah, again, because we have a bigger battery that compensates a little bit of that lack of efficiency. We've been riding in a photo shoot, actually, that was uh, part of the launch video uh, with some girls which were on the jet and the boys on the propeller. And we were having exactly the same riding time, the exactly same battery levels when we finished. So it, it was quite of, uh, similar. I would say the percentage of difference is maybe 15 to 20% at low speed. And it, it, it differentiates itself when we go higher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so it's not a huge difference. Uh, why so? Because our jet is a bigger jet. Uh, it's not uh, like certain brand which has very, very small. Our jet has quite a big bit of uh, torque. And the good thing is you can swap 
swap it with the propeller. So if you have the normal propeller and the jet, you can actually swap them. Mm -hmm. It's not an instant swap on the beach. You need to use your screwdriver, but or your Allen key actually, but just five screws away. So it's not really far, it takes five minutes. Our nose guard was there actually on the previous boat, like mm -hmm. the handles. This is a feature we introduced in the Vault 2 actually. And mm -hmm. uh, so two generations uh, far away, uh, two years ago. And uh, we had a good response from that. The, the idea to have a very clean edges no uh, and to be easy to carry. Um, and really rigid um, uh, handles was one of the features about the nose guard. The idea is since we put like here actually the, the first usually on the nose or quite often on the nose uh, the, the board becomes scratchy so we put this uh, it's an optional actually this uh, nose guard but customer can fit or decide not to fit if they don't think it looks good enough let's say. Some people like to the look of the board some mm -hmm. people want to protect it so, so we give the option to the customer it comes with uh, by standard of the kit. About the deck so basically the deck is uh, concave so mm -hmm. there is no, because there is no latch, nothing, no cover, and the battery is from the bottom. It allows us to do whatever we want with the with the deck. And so we have the dual concave this way, and this way is concave, and that gives you more board control, and it's quite nice to ride, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and also it prevents injuries, because you may injure your knees or your feet with those latches and hinges uh, that are not so convenient, and also over time they can break. It's quite common on, uh, on certain brands that they break out after some time of opening and closing. So, so here we don't have all of that. And the final advantage of that is it's much more simple production of the board, which makes mean, which means lighter board. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I go into the numbers, a uh, uh, 100 liter board is around 8 kilo mm -hmm. alone, and a 55 liter board, we have an, an extreme one, which is 5.5 kilo, which is super light. I don't think there is any other brand so light. So yeah, we, uh, that allows us to have really good performance in terms of weight, and that gives a total package of around 30 kilo. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I don't think we go much above the 30 kilo. Uh, to be fair, we didn't really weigh them, but uh, 8 kilo, uh, we have a battery which is 17 kilo. This is the easiest, easiest component, and the mast is uh, the remaining. Mm -hmm. And of course, we should mention all the other cool features that you just introduced. For example, modular structure. You have no cables, it's just a plug and play system plus the battery you put under needs the board and there is a security magnet. Yes, exactly. So basically this year we introduced a fully cable free system. Most of the issues on many on the e in general, whichever is the brand, are the cables. People plug them and plug them, uh, eventually damage the connectors, eventually have water in the connector. So, so we decided to have uh, an easy system. It's also quick to install. So in the top of the mass, we have connection for the receiver. Uh, so when you plug in your mass into the board, uh, it plugs into the receiver. Why the receiver is not here is because that allows us to have the antenna at the nose of the board. So mm -hmm. even on the smallest board, 55 liter, which is, as you can imagine, very small for an e-foil, yeah, and is usually underwater when you start, you still get the, 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 the remote connection and you can water start with it. And then uh, we have the, uh, on the other side, we have the power connectors, which are here. So when the, the fall is inside the board, uh, then you can connect the battery and it automatically plugs into the battery. And we have a triple C, so there is a seal here on the, on the, on the connectors and there is two additional seals which are here to give uh, you triple, triple safety. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit like if you had a hatch, but basically you have everything into that location. Very cool. And finally, let's cover the remote. This year you're offering the new remote with a color display. What other features does it have? Yeah, so uh, basically this year we improved uh, the remote. So uh, we changed the screen. Uh, the screen is much higher resolution. It's twice the resolution of last year. So it's basically like a mobile phone. It's, it is uh, three times the brightness of the last year's uh, display uh, to be to put numbers 800 nits. So it's very bright, like a little bit like a mobile phone. Uh, we also improved the feeling of the buttons. We put some 3D shapes so it's, you can feel them more and they are more precise. And uh, we did a big effort on the uh, on the trigger mechanism mm -hmm. so we added a very high resolution sensor so it's extremely precise so you really get the full precision you can ride the, the foil uh, fully on the trigger without having any cruise control uh, with the plus and the minus mm -hmm. And does it have like GPS on an app or something? Yes, yeah, so the, the remote has GPS, mm -hmm. it has vibration motor, uh, we have accelerometers in the board, uh, we have a lot of cool features. Not all of them are yet active, mm -hmm. the GPS is already active. Uh, we have a mobile application that allows us to uh, see our rides after the, the session, uh, get all the telemetry data. Uh, it also allows us to um, uh, update the firmware of the remote and connect to the battery because our battery are the first battery in the market which were Bluetooth. From the very first design that we did, uh, back in 2018, the battery was already Bluetooth and connecting over Bluetooth to remove all the data cables. Mm -hmm. So we so we remain that feature because we really like it and uh, we think this is a plus. 
very cool and of course i cannot help myself but ask it's insanely hot here especially in summer so this is a real battle test for this kind of e-falls you keep the battery straight on the sand how do they survive this yeah so first of all the battery is white color mm -hmm. uh, so it helps it cool it down obviously it's not designed to be keeping on the sun for all day but it reduces the risk of let's say overheating from the foil side uh, we have water cool system so all our hydraulics are water cooled uh, we test it all the summer so just to give you an idea summer time it's 50 degrees on the shadow and 36 degree peak in the water temperature so it's really high and we are still riding with that and without any problem yeah this is a real test because all my cameras are already overheating <laughs> this is very unusual place for me to be you know i always ride with like triple wetsuits a lot of stuff but here yeah, exactly. it's so hot it's probably first time i will ever ride in the hot weather <laughs> the, the other thing is uh, not only the height but also you have the salt mm -hmm. you know this this uh, uh, location is very salty in the summertime and obviously it's very bad for the engines and the seals and so on so that is a real test and there is one more thing you mentioned you can convert the sea foil to wing foil Yes, yeah, so basically we have a we have a plug system that co uh, cover basically the receiver of the board. So it's a small cap, and then we have a special plate that we fix onto the bottom of the board, and we can fix a regular foil and go wing foil. And since the board are really light, uh, you get really the wing foil experience like uh, any other wing foil in the market. And that's cool when you have uh, when you come to the sesh to the beach, it's uh, low wind, you ride with your e foil, then the wind pick up, you can go wing foiling with the same day with the same equipment. So that's a big feature, and we had really a huge interest for this feature uh, in the last boat show okay very good thank you Renault for thank showing you. us your products I wish you a successful season and I cannot wait to get to the water finally let's go yeah let's See go you. to the water let's go to the water All right, we just tried 100 liter board with a jet. The jet is really smooth. If you are learning, I think jet is the way to go. Maybe it's less efficient, but it's much easier to gain control of our vehicle. Yeah, very much. And now I'm going to switch to the 75 liter intermediate board. Plus they have small as 50 liter board. Yeah. Let's check it out. Here we go, riding Manta foils. Wow, Renault, this is such an amazing place to ride here. You know, I always ride like with triple wetsuits in Portugal and finally I'm free. It's hot, it's sunny, it's an amazing place to be. Yeah. Well done here. Thank you, it's uh, actually it's really cool, yes. I am the opposite when I go on holiday, I have to put all my layers and it's just crazy. <laughs> so I just tried jet propeller and the regular propeller, I think. Jet is an awesome choice for people who are just learning. It's very smooth power output. Maybe it's less efficient, but it's very easy to ride. Yeah, that's actually the difference with the propeller, yes. And one thing I forgot to ask you, do you ship internationally or just Dubai? Yeah, we ship internationally, except in the US at the moment. Uh, and we will have stock in Europe uh, in the coming months. So the deliveries worldwide are going to be pretty quick and uh, amazingly. Yeah. All right, all in all, amazing board. So if you happen to be here in Dubai, reach Renault from Manta Falls and have a ride of your life. Cool, thank you. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.